96.5 The Fox, Bismarck Mandan's classic rock station with free beer, hot wings every weekday morning. And the time has finally come. Rock the Prairie. Prairie Nights Casino this weekend. Friday night, September 11th. Kicks and Vixen. Saturday night, September 12th. It is Slaughter and Lynch Mob. And Mark Slaughter on the way to Prairie Nights. He's actually in Minneapolis right now, has a layover nice enough to call in. Mark, what's going on? Uh, just uh, enjoying a nice, calm uh, afternoon, uh, flying my way to uh, you guys. Thank you. All good, man. We can't wait to come play tomorrow. It's going to be a great weekend of rock and roll at Prairie Nights Casino. Tickets are still available. Mark, how crazy is it for you to think that your debut album, the band's debut album, is officially 25 years old in 2015? I know. It's just amazing. It's uh, you know, to, to think about how fast time goes, I'm, I'm feel, feeling old. But, uh, you know, look, it, it, people really enjoy this type of music. I, I, we're seeing a lot of young people even come to the shows because their parents have turned them on to it. And, uh, you know, it's really cool when, when music becomes a part of people's lives and they, they come out to party with it. It's great. Now, it's my understanding that when you were with Vinnie Vincent Invasion, the, the record label had basically had you and Dana kind of sign a deal that said if you leave that band and you guys start your own thing, they kind of get first crack at whatever you guys do. Is that true? Yeah, it was a, it was a lead member agreement that all of us had to sign and then they picked up my option and uh lo and behold we started slaughter that's how it went we had to uh show them five four songs and they just loved what we did and then uh we were able to produce and uh, again we're the only band from our genre that wrote produced and still perform our music today so it's, it's been a it's been a great long haul for us here how big of a change was it for you guys to go from playing with vinnie vincent to, to taking on your own band and going into the studio and recording your own stuff i think it was different i mean we weren't uh it wasn't a, based around guitar solos i mean vinnie's a good writer but you know he was really trying to prove himself as a guitar player and i think that was part of his you know that was the vehicle of, of him showing that and to us it's more about the songs it's more about the vibe and and, uh, and, and, and again, uh, you know, get a time stamp of music, and it takes you back to that place of where you were back, way back when and where you are now, you know. But always, it stands the time, always start running and flowing is, uh, when you hear a song that takes, you know, that you heard or reminds you of something. So you and Dana go, you put together Slaughter. Were you guys nervous at all that it might be tough to live up to what you had accomplished with your previous band? I don't think it was something that we were worried about is, is if it was going to work or not. I think we just thought, well, let's just do this. You know, it was just kind of you know, do or die. It really wasn't a, oh, my gosh, if we can't. There was no anxiety to it at all. We just did it, you know. And, uh, you know, looking back on the whole thing, I'm sure <laughs> it was, it's like one of those things you go, wow, what if that wouldn't have gone right? But we wrote the right songs, and they liked what we did, and the people liked what we did, and we had a great tour. Our first tour was with Kiss. I think that was also a big, you know, responsible part of what uh, people saw in the band. You know, we were with some legendary people, and that uh, kind of they turned uh, the people onto us. You know, joined on the phone by Mark Slaughter. He will be here this weekend, part of Rock the Prairie with Slaughter and Lynch Mob Saturday night. Now, when you write songs like Up All Night and Fly to the Angels, they become big hits. When you're sitting there, you're writing them, you're recording them. Do you think, wow, this is this is going to be big? Do you have that feeling about a certain song? I have, I think we we knew that Fly the Angels had something special to it, but there is literally managers and other people who said it's too bad that song doesn't have a chorus. I mean, you know, it, again, industry doesn't necessarily know what the heart or what people feel off the song, and I think that's ultimately, you know, like whether it be Zeppelin or, or whomever, whomever, it's just really you write the song for how the song goes instead of worrying about, you know, the, the cash cow on the end of it. Looking back on those early Slaughter years, what would you say is your favorite memory? I mean, you mentioned that you got to tour with Kiss. Your first big tour was with Kiss. You shared the stage with Ozzy and Iron Maiden. What was your, what's the one favorite memory that you have of that, that early years of, of Slaughter? I think it's, you know, again, you know, I'm a music fan, and, and when, you, when you're able to go and play with the people that you grew up being influenced by the music, it's just such a great thing. Thank you. That, you know, that all of a sudden you're looking off on stage, on the side of the stage watching the people that you, you know, grew up loving their music and they're right in front of you. And it was, it was awesome in that way. So 
um, you know, it's kind of like living a dream. And I think one of the surprising things about Slaughter, and you touched on it a while ago, is that you guys are still out there. A lot of the bands from that era kind of took time off. They went apart, did their own thing, never got back together, or they're reuniting now. Slaughter has constantly been out there playing shows and, and doing stuff. We've been doing shows, and again, it's like fly dates to, you know, like what we're doing right now. We fly to shows as opposed to go on a tour bus. So like last weekend we were in, Chicago. We played a show at Farm Rock in Chicago, and then the following day we played in uh, Colorado. And then, you know, so we fly as opposed to being on a tour bus. It has to be routed. You know, you have to do like, you know, Austin, Texas one day and Dallas, Texas the next day. You can fly and do whatever you want and that side of it. And uh, it, it's been great, I, it, you know, because we work weekends and I'm on during the week. What do you think it is about your band that, that keeps fans coming out? I mean, you've got bands that have come after Slaughter that stop playing shows or people don't go see them anymore. They've got 20 people in the crowd. Slaughter continues to bring the fans out. What is it about your band that does that? Um, it's, you know, the band's really entertaining. We've got a drummer named Zoltan Shaney who's just phenomenal. And, I mean, if you look him up on the, on the web, he's phenomenal. And, uh, you know, we really go out and we're performers, we're entertainers. It's not just the music, it's, it's, it's the show. And I think that people uh, really, you know, gravitate to, to something that, uh, you know, that, that is entertaining as opposed to people just standing there playing a few songs, you know, and, and then walking off. I and mean, we do the best job we can and do the most entertaining thing we can do, and, and, and it's been working. You know, we've been truly blessed on that side of it and playing Curry Nights tomorrow night, Lynch Mob, and we've known George forever. And uh, it's, it's going to be a great show. We're really, really, really looking forward to it. Joined on the phone by Mark Slaughter playing Rock the Prairie at Prairie Nights Casino. Now, if playing shows was uh, with Slaughter wasn't enough, you actually released your first solo album, Reflections, in a rearview mirror relatively recently. What led you to write and record the solo album? Um, I really just wanted to get music out. I mean, I get, get to your point. I mean, like, even Mick Jagger does stuff away from the Stones, and even Paul Stanley does stuff away from Kiss. I think that you just want to constantly be an artist and never changing. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to run from where I came from with Slaughter, but... You still want to be an artist, and you still want to play with colors, and you still want to do things that, that you like musically. And that's, that's really where it is. It's more about the love of it more than it is anything else. So, you know, I put, put the site up on iTunes and, and Amazon and all that other stuff. It's also on markslaughter.com. But uh, I had a great time doing it. I played every instrument on it except for the drums and uh, recorded it as well. So it was kind of a labor of love of doing everything. And then I had Michael Wagner, a legendary producer, mix it and master it so it's, it's, it's a good record and i'm proud of it but uh again it's just more about getting the art out there than it is uh hey i'm leaving the band because that's not what's happening what's different about recording a solo album as opposed to a, a slaughter album it's been a while since slaughter has had an album out what's different about you doing this on your own as opposed to doing a record with a band well because I, it, whatever one person you know again when one person hears something if it's just one person, you just do it. And if it's two people, then you're kind of there's a compromise starts going in. Well, I hear it this way. Well, I hear it this way. You know, it becomes the more people come into the, the, the you know, the chief, not enough Indians, it, it starts to change the sound. Although that is, there's some, some beauty in that in the dance. But I think that when I, what I wanted to do is just put something out the way I heard it in my head. You know, so it was good. It's all fun. When you play the show at Prairie Nights, will you play anything off the solo album, or are you just sticking with Slaughter Tunes? No, we're staying with the hits. Uh, you know, I'll be selling the solo record there as well, but more so than anything, it's, it's, you know, it's about the music that people know and love. It's about the memories that we've made with that music. And, and you know, we're not, uh, you know, I saw it when I saw Paul McCartney one time. He was playing the Wings, he was playing the Beatles, and as soon as he said, hey, I got a new one for you. People really don't care. They have they want to hear the hits that they know and that have, have been a time stamp in their life, and, and that's really what we do. You know, it's interesting to hear to hear an artist say that because I've been to concerts constantly over the years, and you have bands that have countless hits, and they don't want to play those hits. They want to play the new stuff, and, and it's interesting to hear you say that because a lot of a lot of bands wouldn't admit that you know they know that the fans are there to hear these certain songs. Well, they are, and I think that's you know it's no different than in radio. You know what hits. You know, I could throw all new music at you all day long, but the bottom line is, say thanks, Mark, and here's why the angels, you know, it's okay. It's not, I'm glad that, that, that you guys care, and I'm glad that the people care about the music. If there's just that much that's been, you know, a big part of their life, that's cool with me. I'll continue to make art, and those who are really looking to find uh, new stuff, it'll, it's out there, you know whether it be for me or for another artist. Joined on the phone by Mark Slaughter, Slaughter performing at 
Prairie Nights Casino, Rock the Prairie, is happening this weekend. How much fun is it for you to play shows with bands like Lynch Mob and Great White and Kicks and bands that were there when you started? You're, you're rejoining them on, on stage 25 years later. Well, you know what? It's, it's great in the side of it's like going and reliving your high school reunion every weekend. <laughs> you know, you see people you've known a lifetime and, and uh, that you've grown up with and and, you know, all the, those of us that still continue to do it, you know, I think that, you know, we've all grown up. We've all seen, you know, uh, what each other has gone through and what we've, you know, the struggles and the, and the triumphs that we've all had. And it's, it's just, it's a nice catch up. So uh, we like it. What about uh, the future? What does the future hold for Slaughter and Mark Slaughter? Will you head out and do solo shows? Are you going to keep doing the shows with the band? Is there a new album possibly? What's going to happen in the future? I think for Slaughter, we're going to continue. We we have some uh, big things to announce someplace uh, down the next part of next year. But uh, we're we're just getting through these dates, and then we're going to uh, move forward. And uh, again, keep making music. No matter what, we'll continue to keep making music, whether it's uh, nostalgic or new. There's uh, there's something for everybody. Go check out Slaughter with Lynch Mob Saturday night. Rock the Prairie at Prairie Nights Casino. The new solo album is out at markslaughter.com. Mark, have a safe flight. We will see you this weekend. Thanks a lot, Matt.